Line of Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today's video is actually going to be a product review plus a little sneak peek at something I'm doing to prepare for my daughter's third birthday party. So the product that I'm going to be reviewing is actually this Hoework Stand Mixer. We received this yesterday and I haven't used it to bake obviously yet, but I can already tell you there are features about this mixer that I actually like better than the KitchenAid. So in your box, Obviously, you're going to get the stand mixer in the bowl. You're also going to get this little plastic cover that helps protect the flour from spraying everywhere as you're pouring in your dry ingredients. And I really like it actually suction cups to the top of the stand mixer like base, I guess, and really creates a nice seal with the bowl. So there's not much gaps for the flour to escape from. The KitchenAid does sell something similar to this, but it is not as like full coverage as this one. So I, I automatically love this feature. You will also be getting three attachments. So you have the paddle attachment, which I've already put in the mixer because I'm gonna be using that one today, as well as a whisk and a dough hook. And normally you would think that would just be it, but you actually get a spatula for wiping down the bowl as well as a little egg separator. Now, I don't need to separate eggs today, but I'm gonna try this out just to show you guys what it's like, and I'm gonna use the yolks anyways. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this thing. So to get started, what we're gonna do with our base is we're gonna actually twist this little lever clockwise, and that's going to release a lock that lifts up the top portion of our base that our attachment will hook onto. This gives you room to load your bowl as well as your attachments and put in your ingredients. To load the bowl, we're just gonna take the bowl, set it nice and down, and then even just follow the little arrow on the base and lock it in place. Now here's a good time to add in your ingredients for the initial step of whatever you're making. For this video, I will be making just some nice boxed brownies for my daughter's third birthday, but we're gonna be making them in a little special way. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I'm doing and why, but we're gonna go ahead and pour this mix into our bowl. Additionally, just following the instructions on the box, I'm adding a fourth a cup of water, two eggs, and two thirds a cup of oil. And since I have it right here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the spatula that was provided to clean up this little bowl. Now that the ingredients are in the bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and add my little splash guard by attaching this circular portion around this part of our base. And it's gonna create a nice good seal, not only with the center part of our base, but also this rim goes right along the top of the bowl and it creates a great seal. Before I put this down, I'm gonna go ahead and attach on my little paddle attachment, which I'll be using for these brownies. But if I was making a buttercream frosting or cinnamon bun dough, I would use one of the other attachments. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and just release this lever again to unlock this device so that it can go down and we can start our mixing. But I'm following the instructions and now I'm going to plug in this device. And as you can see, when I plug it in, the little speed dial thing starts lighting up. It is currently on position zero and it actually goes all the way up to six. And it gives you an idea of what level you should be using based on the attachment that you have already in. So I'm using the paddle attachment. I'm gonna go up at speed one, two, three, and four. So that went really well. Um, everything looks pretty mixed. It doesn't look like there's any powder on the sides, but I will go ahead and open this up to check it out. One feature that I do really love about this that the KitchenAid doesn't have is this little P. And this little P stands for pulse. So if I go ahead and move my dial counterclockwise to the P, I have to hold it at that position and as soon as I let go, it will go back down to zero. So this is great if you just want to very quickly incorporate little ingredients without having to have the device turned on for an extended period of time. So just to be safe, I am going to unplug this and then go ahead and release the top lever. And I'm gonna give this a good scrape down and see if there's any little bit of the ingredients that aren't fully incorporated. 
There's not a lot of powder on here, so that's a good sign. Overall, I'm really pleased. I've seen reviews of other generic stand mixers where there's just powder everywhere on the bowl, and this one, that's not the case. So honestly, I think I'm good to go to disassemble everything. The way that my blade or this paddle attachment kind of landed, it's making it so that I can't take it off, but the bowl, there's enough space to just remove the bowl, and now that's not a problem anymore. I'm also going to remove the splash guard, which wasn't even necessary. It didn't get anything on here, which is kind of cool. But again, if you're working with a bigger batch of batter and you're adding in your dry ingredients, this is a necessity. And as I'm trying to move this out of the way, it's worth noting there are suction cups on the bottom so that it's not moving all over the place and it really stays put on your countertops. The spatula also really works great. And one thing that I've noticed so far, even just using this, when I originally used my KitchenAid mixer, there was a lot of residue coming off the stainless steel bowl, and I'm not really noticing that with this one. So in my opinion, that's a plus. So I'm really trying to just scrape the bottom of the bowl, and there's not a lot of just like powder sitting at the bottom. So this paddle attachment at least did a really good job at incorporating everything together and in a relatively short amount of time. So before I give my final take on the stand mixer, I'm gonna jump into how I'm actually making these brownies. I'm actually gonna be making them using these silicone molds that I got from Amazon. Uh, they are little donut molds. And the reason why I'm using them is my daughter is in love with cars and trucks and ambulances. And so I'm doing a car construction themed kind of birthday party for her in the upcoming week. So I'm making some little brownie tires to go with many other themed foods for the event. So I will be pouring this batter into a piping bag that's in a cup. But if you don't have a piping bag to transfer your batter nice and cleanly into the molds that you're using, whether it's a donut mold or actually a brownie mold or something like that, you can always use like a nice sturdy Ziploc bag and just cut off the corner and then you're good to go. Every little thing you do Every time you hold me, take me
Okay, so now that my brownies are done, I just thought I would wrap up this video with a little breakdown of my final thoughts about the stand mixer. First, I wanna say that I'm actually really impressed. I think going into trying a new, more generic product than what is known to be like the mixer of all mixers, the KitchenAid, that's the only one that like I really remember hearing about when I was looking at registries for our wedding or whatnot. And so I don't know, I, I think I was expecting to be more like really disappointed or whatever, but I'm actually very impressed by how well this mixed up the ingredients, how well it incorporated everything. I absolutely love the little splash guard like lid. It seals so perfectly over the bowl. And like I said, like the KitchenAid stand mixer like doesn't even have an attachment that works or that I envision working as well. I mean, nothing obviously splashed today, but it is definitely more coverage than what I'm used to working with. And so that is definitely a plus. I love the pulse option where you don't actually need to like, you know, keep turning it to one, holding it, turning it back or anything like that. I like that it's like a nice strong pulse as well. I have never been one to use like really like KitchenAid attachments, like, like making zucchini noodles or making ice cream or whatever else that they have. And I consider myself a more experienced baker than most. So if you are a total noob in the kitchen and you don't do all of that extra fancy stuff, I think that this mixer would be perfect for you. And the mixer that I got was red. Um, they actually came with other colors, so you don't have to feel like you're tied to red if your kitchen aesthetic doesn't match that. There are other options for you as well. So overall, I think for the price, this is a great product. And I think really anyone should like be able to start with something like this and not feel the need to get something way more expensive for essentially the same results. I will go ahead and link the product down below in the description box for your convenience if this seems like something that you are planning on buying. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my daughter's birthday party. I'm so excited to host this party. Her two-year-old party was a rock-themed party and uh, that went off really well. And so this time I'm excited to try something new. I did a homemade pinata and I'm just super excited to see her reaction now that she's older and more vocal. Don't forget to hit that like button and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.